Delegate Plaskett, I just said it. You know what happened that day, maybe better than anyone else I know. Given that, what's left? What do you want to hear from Director Ray? I think we want to understand uh, what importance our law enforcement, particularly our federal law enforcement, gave to the planning of this attack, what information they knew. I'd like to find out if how much uh, the FBI had information about the president, the former president's involvement in this, President Trump. Uh, I'd also, you know, ask the basic questions of what did you know, when did you know it, and who did you tell when you found it out? And what were your next steps in dealing with it? Director Ray has vowed to hold these Capitol rioters, rioters accountable. So far, prosecutors have charged more than 300 people. What does accountability look like to you? Accountability looks like not just the rioters having the full force of the law brought to bear against them, but also those individuals who are planning. We know about Oath Keepers. We know about those individuals in Proud Boys. We know about a lot of these white nationalists, white supremacist groups, uh, fringe uh, right wing groups that were working and planning and wanted to attack the Capitol. Uh, and so we, we need to understand what is the resources that he needs to go after them. I have to say that we recall that over a year ago, Chris Ray said that the greatest domestic terrorist threat to our country was in fact white supremacist groups, white nationalism and its rise. What information and how much did the former president give him support in fighting against that? And what are his recommendations to thwart these groups from raising their head again, not just at the Capitol, not just at our seat of democracy, but throughout this country and against regular everyday Americans as well? Director Ray has been raising that flag for over a year. And let's be honest, former President Trump ignored it. At this point, do you believe the FBI is devoting enough resources to combating domestic terrorism? I don't know. And that's what we should we'll find out. We recall that uh, the Virginia office, the Norfolk office, uh, issued what we are now calling the Norfolk memo which was the memo that was issued to Capitol Hill, uh, the Capitol Police, law enforcement and others, that indeed these insurrectionists were coming for the Capitol. Uh, how much information did they have? Was that only the Virginia office working on this? Were other regional offices, was headquarters of the FBI involved in this? And how much resources does he need throughout the country to support the effort? to uh, quell this insurrectionist and terrorist group that is here living, breathing, working in our country. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.